fuel is a microemulsion, which means it contains water. I put together a little kit here so that you can see exactly what we do and how we do it. I'm going, this is California number two diesel fuel. I'm going to put a little of this in my mixing beaker. And my beaker has a little magnetic stirrer in it so that when I turn my machine on, it can stir up the diesel fuel. Now, I'm actually going to put some water in this diesel so you can see what happens when you don't use the EE fuel. This is what happens when you mix oil and water together. The water which is heavier will sink to the bottom and you're left here with a very coarse emulsion. Coarse meaning it's got very large water droplets. You can see them, they're big enough and heavy enough. You can see how quickly they settle to the bottom. And this is bad news for any uh, diesel engine operator because that's going to damage their engine. Now, I have here one of the ingredients that we use to make EE fuel and I only need one for this demonstration because it's a very simple demonstration here. I'm going to put a little of our ingredient in here. Now, what's happened here is it, it shrunk down the size of the water droplets. Now, if I turned this off and stopped it stirring, it would take much longer for these droplets to settle because they're a little bit smaller. But they're still big enough to see. You can see this is cloudy. If it's cloudy, it means that the water droplets are bigger than 1,000 nanometers. And that puts them outside the, well outside the range of nanotechnology. And I'm going to keep adding a little bit more of our ingredient here. You can see that it's starting to clear. Put the rest of that in just to be sure. You can actually watch the water droplets shrink in size. As they shrink in size, this diesel fuel with all that water in there becomes clear. And the clearer it gets, the smaller the water droplets are. And you can see right now that we're pretty much clear. And just to be sure, I'm going to add some more water in here to show you what happens when something like this meets extra water, it will actually absorb the water. It will pick it up, it will absorb it, it will shrink the size down, and we will come back to being a microemulsion. California gasoline. Same amount. Again, I'm going to add the water in here. Now you may notice that the water actually saddles much faster because the, there is a bigger difference between the weight of gasoline and the weight of uh, diesel. And the water will separate down very, very easily. You can see it spiraling down to the bottom. Adding some more ingredient in here. You can see how quickly it clears. This ingredient is more powerful than the other one, that's why that happens. And that's necessary because the gasoline is so much more difficult to emulsify. I'm going to add some more water. See how well that's absorbed? It'll just keep sucking it up. And what we've done here, we have created an emulsion which is 25% water. And this can actually be burnt as a fuel. We have used this in engines as we were developing our technology to see how well this works. Anyone that's concerned about putting water into fuel, you only have to see this demonstration to understand that we will use the water. We deliberately formulate our EE fuel because we know there's going to be water out there in the bulk tanks, in the fuel lines, in, in, in the fuel tank. And we want to actually use that. We'll, we'll, we will absorb that and make that part of our active ingredient.